I'm sorry I haven't a clue. The antidote to panel games. At the piano is Colin Sell, and your chairman is Humphrey Littleton. Now, teams, we're going to play the game called Mornington Crescent. I'd like to read first a, a letter from Mrs. Trellis of North Wales, who writes, I think your Mornington Crescent Elevator Reconstruction Fund is a noble cause and it has my full support. Well, that's just typical of the many thousands of letters we receive each week from Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> and I notice that a letter has flooded in from our regular correspondent. Mrs. Trellis of North Wales, who raises some interesting points, as ever. Her inquiry is too long to repeat in full, but the answer to your first question, Mrs. Trellis, is that variegated fuchsias prefer light, loamy soil <laughs> in a sunny position, and cuttings may be taken from about mid-August. In response to your second inquiry, Dr. Wyshatsky and Mrs. Ledwood strenuously deny all the charges. <laughs> so I hope that's all cleared up. Before, before we start the game proper, regular listeners will recall that we've yet to announce the winner of our Mornington Crescent Deliberate Mistake Competition. <laughs> well, as might be expected, the competition whipped up a frenzy of interest, and the first card out of the hat came from Mrs. Trellis of North Wales, <laughs> as indeed did the next 340. <laughs> Mrs. Trellis cleverly spotted that Barry Cryer made an illegal move in Regent's Park. So, so a postal order for ten pounds goes to Mrs. Trellis and a fine of fifty goes to Barry. This week's post bag is bursting with a letter from our regular correspondent, <laughs> Mrs. Trellis of North Wales, who tells us she's keen to play Fantasy League Mornington Crescent. <laughs> However, I have to tell you, Mrs. Trellis, that your choice of team may be a little overambitious. We can't actually recall Bruce Willis registering. Tom Cruise is already taken, and I'm given to understand that Richard Gere is far too busy with his animal charities. <laughs> As for your fourth fantasy choice, you're in luck. Graham Garden is currently available for a transfer fee of 50 pounds. I know it doesn't seem much, but we can't afford to pay you any more than that, I'm afraid. <laughs> anyway. And, and I notice we've been inundated with a letter from our regular correspondent... <laughs> Our regular correspondent, Mrs. Trellis, who's writing in her capacity as patron of the North Wales branch of the Paranoid Amnesiacs Trust. <laughs> her letter reads, Dear Sir. <laughs> Dear Sir. Yours faithfully, Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> yes, I know you're talking about me behind my back. <laughs> the, uh, the Friends of Mornington Crescent mailbox has been inundated again by a postcard from our regular correspondent, Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. He's holidaying in Rill at present, and she writes, she writes, Dear, having a lovely weather not so, wish you were... Oh, and there's a PS here. Due to power cut in hotel, had to write this under Lighthouse. <laughs> First of all, I have to announce the results of our Mornington Crescent Grand Draw in aid of homes for retired comedy gentlefolk and stray llamas. <laughs> we asked you to complete the following sentence in the most apt or amusing way in no more than 50 words. I like to play Mornington Crescent because... <laughs> and the winner is a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales who wrote, I like to play Mornington Crescent because it's quite good. <laughs> That was by far the most amusing of the many of the many hundreds of entries we received from Mrs. Trellis. Anyway, before we before we do, I, I noticed that we've been inundated with a card from a Mrs. Trellis, <laughs> who writes in her capacity as secretary of the North Wales chapter of the Mornington Crescent Psychic Insomniacs Trust. <laughs> she writes. Dear Mr. Littleton. <laughs> Dear Mr. Littleton, I know what you're thinking. 
Many heartfelt thanks to you and the teams for all the help you've given in finding a shofar cure for our members. Many of whom hadn't slept a wink in years until discovering your program. P.S. It was so nice to hear you again next year. Well, glad to be of assistance, Mrs. Trellis. Anyway, back to the game. And this week we'll be playing... First of all, I see the mailroom has been overwhelmed with another letter from Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> and, and she writes, Dear Ned. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Ned, wonderful, marvellous, extraordinary, remarkable. Are just four of the many words on page 93 of my new thesaurus. <laughs> Yours sincerely, truly, faithfully, Mrs. Trellis. P.S. How about some signed photographs? Well, thank you, Mrs. Trellis. They're very nice. <laughs> but uh, before we start, I notice our electronic mailbag is full to overflowing with an email message from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She tells us she's now on the net with her first PC. Dear Libby, she writes. <laughs> Show wonderful, uh, for teams the... Two, thanks. Faithfully yours, Trellis, Mrs. <laughs> Qwerty, hatstand, shift, dot, chillblain, <laughs> at, dot, UK. Oh, and there's a PS. Which way does the keyboard go? <laughs> before, before we do, however, I see the mailbag is bursting with a letter from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> In her capacity as chair of the Rill and District Naturalists Mornington Crescent Club. She reports on an interesting observation made while out with her binoculars. Dear Stefan, she writes. Tits like coconuts. But sparrows prefer breadcrumbs. Yours faithfully, Mrs. Trellis. Most enlightening. <laughs> On with the game teams. But first I notice we've been inundated by a card from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> Dear Dr. Clare, she writes. <laughs> so pleased to hear that Tim Brooke Taylor is back. Without him, the show was like Hamlet without the balcony scene. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Trellis. How true. On with the game. But first, I have to announce that in response to last week's appeal, we've received nearly seven letters. <laughs> including six from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> she writes... <clears throat> Wait a minute, let me see. Dear Rabbi Hugo... <laughs> why... Why, 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 does my typewriter always stick on the letter Y? Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis, North Wales. I notice, I notice from my in-tray that we've received literally a postcard from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales who sends her observations on Euro 96, and she writes, Dear Acker, <laughs> Hats off to the boy Gascoigne. He's done good. If the BBC had any sense, he'd be back chairing University Challenge. <laughs> Instead of that Jeremy Beadle. Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. But before we, do, before we do, I've noticed our mailbag has once more been flooded with a card <laughs> from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales who warns against the effect of an unhealthy diet. Dear Melvin, she writes, <laughs> the doctor has told me I must stop eating a sweet after each meal. He said if I carried on much longer, we'd have no furniture left at all. <laughs> P.S. P.S. Who can forget Leeds to Liverpool 47? <laughs> what a great road sign that was. <laughs> On, with the... <laughs> On with the game then. But first, first I notice from my laptop that we have an email from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. 
who's visited our website with some advice for young couples setting up home together for the first time. <laughs> Dear Mr. Nocte, she writes. <laughs> Ignore those trendies who say size isn't important. I believed that, and then my new wallpaper fell off. Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis at dot n wales dot bracket slash slash dot dot <laughs> co uk stroke hin stroke bracket. <laughs> okay, on with the on with the game team. But be before we do, I noticed from the bulge in our post bag this week that a another card has flooded in from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales with comments on her favourite show. Dear Mr. Duggleby, she writes. <laughs> great, 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 great. Yes, great, 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 great. Does that Delia Smith do nothing else all day? <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. Before we, before we start this year's championship, I noticed we've received a telegram from a... <laughs> from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. It reads as follows. Dear Yehudi, stop. When does new Mornington Crescent season start? Stop. With new Walkman radio, can listen on top of the bus? Stop. Enjoy, sh enjoy shows so much, often don't notice bus. Stop at stop. Stop. However, find some games a bit stop-start. Stop. stop. <laughs> Trellis, Mrs. North Wales. P.S. As ever, can't wait to hear teams singing. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> On with the game, teams and... First, first of all, I noticed we've received nearly two postcards this week from, <laughs> from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> Who sends another of her useful hints for young couples setting up home together? She writes, Dear Bamba, <laughs> it's never good policy to store tubes of super glue and Vaseline in the same cupboard. <laughs> if, a, <laughs> if a young wife is in a hurry, it's all too easy to get them muddled up. I did once, and guess what happened? The broken spout fell off my teapot. <laughs> Yours faithfully, Mrs. Trellis. Okay. But, but first, I noticed from the bulge in my in tray that a memo. <laughs> that a memo has arrived from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> bemoaning the lack of traditional secretarial skills among young ladies today. She writes, Dear Sir, Stroke Madam, <laughs> Stroke Dale Winton, <laughs> Slash on new page, as applicable. Importance of good communication skills must, underlined, be, underlined, underlined, underlined. <laughs> Improved technique stroke speed will be of great help to secretary stroke boss. <laughs> Faithfully yours, Trellis Misses. Anyway, back to the game teams. But first, I noticed that following the game's recent return, our listeners' comments mailbox was flooded to overflowing. <laughs> the first card out of the hat is from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> and typifies the many hundreds we receive each week from Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> she writes, Dear Melvin, <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Does Carol Vorderman's agent say nothing else? <laughs> <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. Now, on with the game teams. With but uh, first of all, I have to announce the result of our Mornington Crescent Good Housekeeping Competition. And the winning card out of the hat is from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales, who writes, Dear Mr. Melly, 
Here's a great tip for removing any annoying little hairs that collect in the bath plug hole. Tempt them up with a carrot and then pull them out by their long floppy ears. <laughs> Many thanks, Mrs. Phyllis. That was, that was very helpful. OK, on with the game. But first of all, I noticed from the pile in our listener reaction in tray, we've received almost two letters this week, including this. <laughs> including this one from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> Mrs. Trellis admits to becoming a little confused by the recent Radio 4 programme changes. <laughs> Dear Shula, she writes. <laughs> how awful, how awful they should both move the moral maze and change its name. You can imagine my horror and dismay when I tuned in specially and found I hadn't missed it yet. <laughs> Yours faithfully, Mrs. Trellis. OK, on with the game, team. But first of all, I, I noticed there's a splendid card on the mantelpiece to mark the official reopening of Mornington Crescent Tube and sent to us by a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> Mrs. Trellis has taken the trouble to find the appropriate Gordon Fraser special occasion card. <laughs> On the front it says, Happy Northern Line Underground Station reopening. <laughs> above a picture of a vintage car with a set of golf clubs in it. <laughs> First of all, I noticed from the duty log that we've received a letter of complaint from an irate listener, a Mrs. A Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Kenton, I was appalled on tuning in this morning to hear a torrent of blatant filth with terms such as big bang, large firm success, satisfying performance and worst of all, job blows. <laughs> it was the most disgusting edition of the Today Programme business report ever. Yours faithfully, Mrs. Trellis, Wild Shag Cottage, Upper Sheep... <laughs> Upper Sheep's Bottom Lane, much humping on sea. First, I noticed that while we were off the air, we received very nearly two letters. <laughs> including this one. It's from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales, who kindly wrote to say how much she enjoys Radio 4 now the changes have settled down. She writes, Dear Jeremy... I don't know how these moaning minis can be confused by the new schedule. I, for one, am delighted to hear you start the week. They said no one could replace that nicely spoken Billy Bragg. They know nothing. If it's quality you want, Jeremy is the man, I say. Yours faithfully, Trillis, Mrs. Oh, wait a minute, there's a P.S. What a shame you had to leave. You've been framed to take up the position. But first... I understand that since the series returned, our Mornington Crescent letterline switchboard has been permanently jammed with a message. It comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales, <laughs> who writes, Dear Miss Aidy, <laughs> rain, rain, rain. Day in, day out, nothing but rain and then rain again. Does Her Majesty never take a holiday? <laughs> Yours faithfully, Mrs. Trellis. On with the game now. But first, first I noticed from our listener focus group in tray <laughs> that we've received almost several cards this week and it comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Mrs. Antrobus. Hats off to the I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue boys. Their book of limericks is a great read. <laughs> and such good value at under a tenor. It inspired me to write one myself, which I would love to hear read out loud for the very first time. There was a young lady from Slough who last year developed a cough. She wasn't to know it would last until now. 
<laughs> Let's hope the poor girl will pull through. <laughs> At first, I see we've received only slightly less than two cards this week. <laughs> and it comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Libby. <laughs> Many congratulations to the teams on their exciting news. I've just heard they've been offered long-term contracts to appear exclusively on Sky. <laughs> and hats off to the Highlands and Islands Development Board for giving... <laughs> Sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. Okay. But first, first, I have to announce the result of our Mornington Crescent audience response survey. <laughs> we, we asked 20,000 listeners, how would you rate your level of Mornington Crescent satisfaction? <laughs> Excellent, good, or merely well above average? And the reply we got back <laughs> came from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> who I see has ticked the box marked neither good nor bad, and also the box is marked poor, very poor, really extremely poor. Words begin to escape me as to quite how poor, and butter-clenchingly piss poor. In fact, Mrs. Trelly sent us back the wrong form. And if there's anyone listening at Virgin Rail wondering where it got to... <laughs> we'll be happy to forward it. OK, on with the game, teams. And this... but first, first, I notice we've had an avalanche of correspondence this week. <laughs> the letter comes from a Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> she writes, Dear Mr. Humphreys, <laughs> just a short note to say... Just a short note. <laughs> Yours faithfully, Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> oh, and there's a P.S. The teams might be interested to learn there's a new book out called The Almost Complete I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue. <laughs> it's all about Britain's favourite radio programme. Did they know there are two shows of the same name? <laughs> On with the game. But first... I noticed that sitting next to the BBC listener reaction shredding machine, there's a letter, there's a letter from... There's a letter from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Miss Adie, If any listeners are fed up with those endless trails that keep appearing on the wireless, why not wipe them off with a damp cloth and put down slug pellets to stop the little... <laughs> to stop the little blighters coming back. <laughs> oh, and there's, there's a P.S. Amongst the many current great attractions, watch out for a book called The Almost Complete I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue. <laughs> Your many listeners will laugh like a drain just to hear it's been published. <laughs> OK, now on with the game. But first, I noticed from our Christmas card postbag that we've received an unusual number this year. And it comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> Her card contains this seasonal greeting. Dear Mr. Mumbledon. Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis, President, North Wales Mumbling Society. <laughs> and on with the game which today will be played to Bethlehem Rule. But first, I noticed from the Mornington Crescent electronic in-basket that we've received an email from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. It says, Dear Mr. Whiteley, <laughs> Enter, control, alt, delete, bugger. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> okay. But first, I noticed from the Mornington Crescent listener reaction imaging screen <laughs> that we've received a text message from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> who contacted us from her new satellite-linked digital mobile phone. She writes, Dear Ned. I'm on the train. Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. 
But first, I noticed from the pile of correspondence in the Mornington Crescent <laughs> listener reaction matchbox <laughs> that we've received very nearly two letters this week. It comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales <laughs> who tells us she's recently been taking a French language correspondence course. She writes, Mon cher Humpty. <laughs> Zut alors. Oi, oi, oi. Many de mes amis ici en Wales do know reconnaît votre programme et un grand pal de cobbler. <laughs> they donne it un grand no. Mais au contraire, moi, every time je hear le sig tune, je want to go oui, oui. <laughs> Watch sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> now, first of all, I noticed from the mound in the listener correspondence waste bin that we've received just less than two letters this week. <laughs> and it comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Mr. Rees, <laughs> I understand you're looking for suggestions for your quote unquote program. Can you tell me where the expression Dollars ditch water comes from. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. And so but first, <laughs> I notice we've received yet another letter, and this year's this year's comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, "Dear Mr. Titchmarsh." Would you please come round with Tommy and Charlie and the other bloke who isn't allowed to speak and do up my garden as a surprise for me. I'd like the gravel path removed, the rose beds need the gravel taking off, bedding plants can go where the gravel feature is and the privet needs trimming, although you'll need to clear the gravel off it first. Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. P.S. Any time before three would be best as the tide comes in at half past. <laughs> First, first I noticed that in response to recent appeals, we've received a communication this week. It comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, she writes Dear Claims Direct. <laughs> As a result of going short-sighted at work through no fault of my own, I have to wear, I have to wear perfectly ordinary spectacles. Then, within the last three years, I very nearly tripped on a small step ladder, and now find I can no longer play football properly. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis, team captain, Coventry City Football Club. <laughs> the first, I noticed from the mound accumulating in the audience reaction matchbox that we've received a letter. It comes from it comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Bill and Ben, <laughs> Flobolob, <laughs> Flobolobolobolob, <laughs> Flibolib, Flibolibolobolobolib. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> P.S. I can't recommend tongue piercing highly enough. <laughs> First, I noticed from the accumulated pile in the listener reaction matchbox that we've received just under two letters this week, and it comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. Dear Mr. Cryer, congratulations on finally getting the recognition you deserve. I was delighted to see in the honours list that you've been awarded an oboe. <laughs> Perhaps learning a wind instrument will take your mind off the disappointment of coming second in rear of the year. <laughs> Yours faithfully, Mrs. Trellis. Oh, and there's a P.S. Why not end at the of the month instead? <laughs> but first, I notice we've received a correspondence this week, and it's from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. 
She writes, Dear Clint, <laughs> sorry, sorry about the spelling mistake in my last letter. Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this week. First of all, I couldn't help noticing that the Mornington Crescent website message board has again received several thousand hits this week. This one came from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> as did all the others. <laughs> Says, Dear Mr. Humphreys, I can't. <laughs> I can't get enough of the Today program. <laughs> but what's happened to Captain Peacock and Mrs. Slocum? <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> first, first, I noticed from the small mountain on my desk this week that we've been sent a scale model of Kilimanjaro. <laughs> It comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> Along with this seasonal message, dear Rolf. <laughs> they say a dog isn't just for Christmas. How true. You can use it for sandwiches all through January. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. But first, first, I noticed from the sack loads of cards we've received from well-wishers this week that the post office Christmas delivery service isn't getting any better. And also, we received a letter from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales, who sends this special message on the occasion of our 30th anniversary. She writes, Dear Mr. Hoggart, here are some of my favourite cuttings. If you need any other amusing garden waste, please let me know. Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. Now, on with the game. But first, I noticed from the small mound on the post room floor that our pet mole has got out again. <laughs> and that we've received a letter from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes. She writes, Dear Songs of Praise, <laughs> thank you for attending our church last week. Our charity raised several hundred pounds from the sponsored 24 hour bell ringing marathon and was flooded with applications from new members. Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis, North Wales Tinnitus Society. <laughs> First, first, I noticed from the bundle of cards stuffed in the postroom pigeonhole that the postroom pigeon is having trouble sitting down. <laughs> and that we've received a message from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Miss Lawley, here's a great idea. Why not do a celebrity edition of Desert Island Discs? <laughs> But first, I notice we've received just less than two letters this week. <laughs> and it comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, she writes, Dear Dale, bet, <laughs> bet you can't guess who I bumped into at the opticians the other day. Thought not, I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. And on with the game. But first, I noticed from the huge post delivery this week that we've been sent an old telegraph pole along with this letter. They come from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Angus, thanks for the call last night. So sorry I wasn't available to join you at the real motor lodge for a can of Coke. Despite the bad line, I could just make out what else you were after, so I've sent along some friends from the Ladies' Methodist Chapel with a nice piece of steak. I hope you enjoy your rump with two Protestants. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. And on with the game. But first, I noticed from the huge pile of letters on my desk that we've been... We've been sent a giant Scrabble set and this postcard. They come from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. 
she writes, Dear Moneybox Live, <laughs> I have no mortgage on my house, which is worth £250,000, have about £10,000 savings in a building society, and I receive a generous monthly pension. So there. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. Okay, on with the game. But first, I notice we've received in excess of no letters this week. <laughs> and it comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> Dear Mr. Rumsfeld, <laughs> congratulations on the accuracy of those smart bombs of yours. The one that landed in our greenhouse hit it smack in the middle. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> and now on with... But first, following our appeal for more listener reaction, I see we've received over 700 letters this week, and they come from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> she writes in one, and in fact all the others, <laughs> Dear David Dickinson, I can sum up why the BBC have your programme on TV every night in three words. Yes. Cheap as chips. <laughs> Yours, etc., Mrs. Trellis. And there's a PS. I can tell by your face that stuff really does do exactly what it says on the tin. <laughs> right. But first I noticed from our new BBC Online Listener Reaction website message board someone has stuck a post-it note on the monitor screen to tell us we've received a postcard from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Mr. Titchmarsh, this morning I went out to dig up some dandelions and a giant hogweed on my lawn. The filthy beast. Yours, <laughs> yours faithfully, Mrs. Trellis. And on with the game. But first, I noticed from the listener reaction mailbox that we've received no correspondence at all this week. Aww. Except for this letter from <laughs> the Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> she writes, Dear Mr. Sainsbury, Please pass this message on to your checkout staff. No, I haven't got a bloody loyalty card. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. And on with the round. But first, I noticed from the listener correspondence in tray that we've received a letter from the listener. <laughs> who this week is a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Dale, <laughs> you must be pretty handy at flower arranging. Can you tell me if it's best to put the self-raising in front of or behind the plain stuff? <laughs> Many thanks, Mrs. Trellis. Okay. First, first I noticed from the listener reaction log that the squirrels have been at it again. <laughs> And that we've received this letter from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Rolf, here's a handy hint. When you put the cat out, always use a high quality fire extinguisher. <laughs> Stupid old bat. First, I noticed from the listener reaction matchbox that we received well under three letters this week. It comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Mr. Gaddafi, you must be very proud. It's not every duck that becomes president. <laughs> Yours in haste, Mrs. Trellis. Okay, teams. But first, I noticed from the listener reaction in tray that we've received a little over no letters this week. <laughs> it comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, <laughs> She writes, Dear Watchdog, am I alone in receiving so much junk mail? 
Can these people not get it into their thick heads? I do not want a Chinese boat. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> Stupid old bat. <laughs> now, today. Oh, junk! <laughs> now, today's version of the game. Before we start, I noticed down in the mailroom from the huge amount of correspondence stuffed in the pigeonhole that the pigeon can't sit down, <laughs> and that we've received this card from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Rolf, where can I learn to shoe horses? Or could you suggest a better way of getting them off my lawn? Oh, sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. Right, on with the game, teams. But first, first I noticed from the more than 20,000 envelopes we received this week that we've been entered into the Reader's Digest prize draw. <laughs> and that there's a postcard from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Mr. Mandela, <laughs> that big statue in Trafalgar Square looks nothing like you. Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> and on with the game. The first I noticed from the huge pile of correspondence in the listener complaints waste paper basket <laughs> that we've received a letter from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. <laughs> she writes, Dear Mr. Tarrant, <laughs> is it true that in Japan you're known as Mr. Rack of Tarrant? Kind regards, Mrs. Trellis. OK, on with the game. First, I hear from the postroom that we've received no correspondence at all this week. No. Not a sausage. But we did receive a sausage last week. <laughs> and it came with this message from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Camilla, <laughs> where can I buy one of your fine reclining chairs? Yours sincerely, Mrs. Trellis. <laughs> okay, on with the game, which this week... Before we start, I noticed that our first Christmas card has arrived. And that the postal service is getting slower than ever. The card comes from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Yoko Ono, Is it true your name is Japanese for one egg? Say Honora for now, Mrs. Trellis. P.S. I swear by your soap powder. <laughs> Come on with the game, and this week we'll be... But first, I noticed from the Mornington Crescent web blog that we've received nearly 7,000 hits this week, which means catapults are making a comeback. <laughs> we also received this postcard from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear De Bretz, can you tell me the correct way to address an Anglican bishop? I've got him wrapped up, but I don't know where to stick the label. <laughs> Yours in haste, Mrs. Trellis. This week, teams has wearing... But first, first, I noticed from the huge number of letters which showered in on us this week that the Scrabble factory is blown up again. <laughs> And then we've received this postcard from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Mrs. McCartney. Oh dear, what a mess. You must be kicking, you must be kicking yourself. Okay, on with the game, and as you'd expect. First, I noticed from the huge number of cards that arrived this week that those warnings to post early for Christmas are finally paying off. 
and we've received a letter from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Mr. Ronaldo, you must have been bowled over by your Player of the Year trophy, even though it clearly never touched you. <laughs> kind regards, Mrs. Trellis. OK, on with the game. But first, first, I noticed from the fat load of correspondence in the post room that overweight listeners are turning up in person. <laughs> and that we've received this postcard from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Mr. Nochty, how are you? Sorry, that's all we have time for. Yours, with the weather, Mrs. Trellis. But first, I noticed from the enormous piles of mail that the lads in the post room have been reenacting the Battle of Agincourt. Again, and that we've received this postcard from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Lewis, so sorry you missed out on the Formula One World Championship. First your old pal Morse dies, now this. Yours, etc., Mrs. Trellis. Stupid old bat. <laughs> but however am I going to find my way home to Mornington Crescent? Perhaps we could help you. Good idea. I'd like you to form two teams. Birds on one side. <laughs> birds on one side and the rest of you on the other. Uh, Humph, before we do that, shouldn't we check if there's any post in the mail room first? There might be, there might be something stuffed in our pigeonhole. <laughs> How do you know? I'm the pigeon. <laughs> Pass it over. Ah, it's a letter from a Mrs. Trellis of North Wales. She writes, Dear Dr. Livingston, I presume, I hear you've taken a missionary position in Africa. Mind you don't put your back out. Yours, etc., Mrs. Trellis. And on with the game, team.